Hey everyone, Dragon here, and tonight I'm going to be doing part two of run number two of my Valheim Hardcore Speedrun series. And we'll see if I survive. This is just where I hang my hat when I'm not doing hardcore runs. One day I hope to show you guys around, but now let's get into it and get back to my hardcore dragon character. I started out the day with a swim. <laughs> Actually, um, I chased a deer into the water and killed it. After my morning swim, I went for a jog up north, across my continent, seeing if I could find any swamp anywhere. Not only was there no swamp up there, there were no other continents that I could swim to. That night held the perfect storm though. It looked like a, a serpent storm. So I took the boat out in search of a serpent. I didn't know if I would find a serpent. I don't know if anyone knows their exact spawn conditions. But I figured if I didn't, I would search for the swamp. But as you can see, I did. Since I'm not wearing the best gear, like level 1 bronze gear, and a leather helmet, and a deer hide cloak, and I'm going into the swamp. I figured that the serpent would help me out a lot. I also knew that I needed some poison resist for bone mass, so I started working on a permit. My continent did not have any swamp on it, so I definitely had to go find one. So I set sail for adventure. Had to mine me a couple sea turtle. I uh, hope to uh, harpoon me a serpent one of these days. I'm not one to level up the sneak skill, so I guess the abyssal razor is just beyond me. The serpents, they seem to be plentiful in my game. It's pretty cool. I hope they stay that way. At long last, I found a swamp. And actually, it's a continent away. I could probably swim to the continent if I ran far enough south. It'd be a trip. I spotted a crypt on the way in, otherwise I wouldn't made port. I wouldn't take the risk if I can't see one from the shoreline. It's probably too deep in to want to really run it. Of course, that only applies to you if you're playing hardcore and are undergeared. The armor scaling in this game is real though. Once you get to a certain point, lower tier monsters can't really hurt you as much. So this is my first crypt, and it happens to have a bone mass uh, marker. I tried to jump right in there to kill the spawner, and that one star did 50 damage to me. I killed him with fire, fire arrows, and then I went and beat his spawner to the ground, pulverized it. I looked up the address of his boss, and I was like, you're next.
I had a little bit of a conundrum. I had a very small boat and I needed to bring back a lot of iron. So I never got all the iron out of that crypt. I needed to keep some chitin because I wanted to make a spear. It was a conundrum. I'm sure I'll have to return for some iron eventually. And I will be back for that crypt because I believe I saw another one in the distance behind it. Another serpent on the way back. At least the meat. Day 15. I return home at last and throw some iron in the forge and start making stuff. I was trying to open the chest to get a piece of iron out for a piece of gear, but I misclicked the bed, and so I lost a couple hours. That's why I like to keep a record of days and hours separately. I think most people actually care about the day, like the day number that you kill a boss on, while speedrunners care about the amount of time it took. I'm going to be honest though, I am not the best speedrunner or hardcore player, but thanks for sticking with me. As soon as the poison resist potions were done, I felt obligated to go kill Bone Mask because I didn't think I was going to upgrade anything else. I ran out of iron and I wasn't about to make another trip because I wanted this to be as quick as possible. I may have to do one more iron run eventually for the end of the game, but I pretty much just want to move on to silver gear. I would like to take this moment to read off my gear. I have a level 1 iron mace, a level 2 banded shield, which is the iron shield. I have a level 3 fine wood bow. And then I'm wearing level 2 bronze leggings, level 2 bronze armor, a level 2 iron helmet, and a level 2 deer cloak. I have 38 armor, taking on bone mass. I watched another hardcore player on Valheim named Pyrex. He was able to get a sneak attack on Bone Mask. I apparently lacked the skill. So I didn't block either of those attacks, and they both hurt like crap. Like, I'm at half health and scared already. <laughs> I feel like my shield was on the edge of what you needed for this. If you needed like a one more level up shield. Because. Some of these knockbacks are doing one damage when I block them and not carry them. His altar is resting in like a pool of water. You just fall in little holes here and there if you fight him there. I think it's just my bad luck on this one. Next time I should bring a hoe and fill in all the pools of water. I 
I'd like to remind everyone that this is hardcore and I'm gonna delete my guy if he dies, so I am very afraid right now. I basically started questioning my ability to do this at this point. I was like, how fast is my health regening? Is my health gonna regen? <laughs> Am I gonna be able to kill this guy? Is he gonna heal faster than I can do damage? Because I'm not doing damage very fast. I didn't like the area around his altar, but I don't know if this was much better. I was a bit stressed out. I needed a break. I realized that I couldn't die. I was having one of those moments where you just feel so panicked and stressed and nervous that you can't make good decisions. So. I left for a minute. I had also started to realize that my mace was going to break before bone mass. That may be because of all the ads, or it may be because it's a level 1 mace. As I had said before, I just needed a break from the boss for a second, so I decided to make this into a Sertal and Core farm in the meantime. And then I jumped right back in. He may have healed a little bit. I found that the rested buff was really pivotal in this battle. I really thought that he was going to come up the hill, or that he was going to throw up, and so I was really confused when he didn't do either. And I just kind of sat there and sat on my head. This is one of those battles where you feel like either there's a blob chasing you or there's puke on the ground and you can't progress towards the boss. <laughs> Just felt stopped constantly by poison. Every time I want to move up on him, he puts poison down.
my main character died three times during this fight. Uh, I wasn't fully geared for it either, but it was always to poison. That's why I don't want to stand in it. That's probably why I'm afraid of this boss and not just running in there as well. I made some iron nails thinking that I could make a long ship. I didn't know what else I needed until that boss broke some ancient bark. I totally figured it out right there. As you guys can see, my speed runs aren't perfect. I'm not perfect at this. I'm not the best player there ever was. I think someone might pick up interest in trying to beat some records. There are a lot of little things in this game that you can do to optimize the way that you play. And I am far from being perfect. And it's really hard to stay on track for nine hours. So. Good luck to anybody else trying to do a speedrun on this game. Character's rested buff is about to fall off, and he's cold, so his stamina regen is going to be like crap, and so this may change the fight. Every little enemy I have to kill takes away my stamina bar and the thing refills so slowly that it makes this a very long fight. If I hadn't wasted some of my stamina to sprint around him, he could have knocked me into the ocean and I'm pretty sure I'd be dead. This is one of those moments where you just, you're like, am I never going to have enough stamina to be able to attack this guy? If that pool was a little deeper or a water swell it came in, I could have just died right there. I was planning on fighting him on this hill, and then I looked at my durability on my mace. 
I looked at his life bar and I was like, that's not gonna work. I need to go fix that. I've been battling this guy for so long, I've kind of become more comfortable with some of his attacks. Like his swipe, he can parry it, or slightly step out of the range of it. You can do a lot of damage to him. I'm going to take a moment and re-emphasize how amazing the rested bonus is. Like, there's no way. It, this guy is so hard without a rested bonus. I just don't know. You'd have to have good gear. I imagine most people go into this fight with like 50 armor. These are excuses though. I didn't want to die to this boss on this hardcore run, so I was extra careful, extra cautious. Thirty-eight armor is perfectly enough to fight the boss if you have a rested buff. I generally wouldn't recommend fighting this boss without a rested buff and poison resist me. So the first half of that battle, I was very afraid that I wasn't going to be able to kill him. I was actually a little shaken. But hey, we did it. I don't know how many people have beat Bone Mass in the first 9 hours of gameplay. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for part 3, where I take on Motor.